Hey there, this is Arjun from September and Company. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to install WordPress offline. So why install WordPress offline? Actually, there are a bunch of reasons. The first one, you can always make changes and revisions to website design. And second, you can test your website for errors offline. And third, you don't have to be connected to internet all the time. Now let's see how to do it. First step, download BAMP server. Now open up your browser and in the address bar, type www.bampserver.com slash en. We'll take you directly to the BAMP server's official website. And when you download, make sure you get the appropriate version here I have chosen the 32-bit version and also make sure that your computer meets all the requirements to run WAMP server. Now click the download directly link it will take you to SourceForge. Normally the download will start in 4 or 5 seconds. If it doesn't, click direct link. Now click save file. Now let's install. Click the WAMP server icon. It will load up the installation wizard. Click next, next, choose your options, next, and install. The installation will proceed automatically. And if you're seeing a message like this, just click low access and finish. Now let's set up a database. Click the green icon below and go to PHP My Admin. It will load up in your browser. After you completed loading, go to database tab. And from there, just provide the name of your database. Make sure that your spellings are correct and click create button now download wordpress go to wordpress.org and download wordpress make sure you get the latest version after you have downloaded wordpress you have to follow the upcoming step it is very important that is extract WordPress files to a directory called www. Now click the green icon, go to www directory, create a folder called WordPress and extract all the files you had downloaded to there. And that's it. Now it's time to install WordPress. Click the green icon at the text bar and choose localhost. It will load up in a browser, so it may take a minute or two, so be patient. Okay, it's all loaded. Scroll down and select WordPress. Now you'll be taken directly to the WordPress installation procedure. Hit let's go and here provide a database name that you had created earlier. Make sure spellings are correct. In the username field, type in root R -O, o T. The default username is root. And in the password column, just let it empty. There are no password. And if you have a password, don't forget to type in. Click submit. Now you're all set, just click run the install. Okay, here you have to provide the information about your site, like site title, username, password, email, etc. Here I'm just providing some random values. You can have any username you want and make sure your password is strong enough. Here I'm just providing a random password which is very weak. 
make sure yours is very strong and hard to break and provide your email it could be any email here I'm just providing a random one you can also choose whether your site should list it in the search engine or not you can discourage the search engine indexing your site now click install wordpress and hey this is your wordpress website it's all set and if you love watching this video don't forget to like it and for further update please subscribe